Hi, I'm Randy Vance. I'm in Pompano Beach, Florida on Sea Chaser's new 30 center console. Now this boat is a brand new boat from Sea Chaser and it's quite a performer. Now Sea Chaser comes from Carolina Skiff, the company that built their reputation on bringing boaters the maximum square footage of fishing fun for the lowest price. Their durable Carolina Skiff line led into the Sea Chaser line and now you have this value proposition. But when you look around you'll be amazed at how the boat is equipped. Now the pleasure of your boat is going to come a great deal from the motors. Now listen to this. You hear it? I can hardly hear it either. That is the dual 350 horsepower Suzuki outboards at idle. This is the sound you'll not be hearing while you're trolling for big game fish. Now with those engines we have power steering, we have digital throttle and shift, and we have two digital gauges that can be configured any way you want them. There's still plenty of room for a large chart plotter and you've got speakers in the hardtop, all around the cockpit, a subwoofer and an amplifier. Those are options that you'll want to think about when you look at your sea chaser. We've also got a windlass on board and we have fresh and raw water for washing down the deck and the equipment as you're coming in. Now the 30cc is equipped with everything a serious angler could need. There's a live well in the leaning post, another one here on the transom, and you've got a sink for bait preparation. We've got rod holders all around the gunnel, all the way to the bow, so whether you're bottom fishing or trolling, you're ready to put a rod exactly where you need it. There's rod storage in the hard top, and you've got under gunnel storage, four per side. For tackle storage, you've got a compartment in the starboard combing. Pull that out and you can see plenty of access there for that. Also, there are two cabinets, one on either side of the leaning post, that have drawers for tackle, storage areas, and sliding tackle boxes. Step forward, two cabinets there at the bulkheads after the forward seating also give you more options for storing gear on this boat. Now it takes far more than just fishability to sell a center console in today's world. Everybody wants to have family fun and entertain friends, so there's plenty of comfort built into this one. Like this lounge area at the bow. Notice the thick bolsters all the way around and they're nicely upholstered as well. Now my favorite creature comforts on board are the pull-out seats. There's one on the front of the console and two on the transom that gives your crew plenty of place to sit comfortably while you're making your way to the fishing grounds. Under the console you've got a large head compartment. Access to it is easy. Once you get down there there's a flushing toilet, a freshwater sink, and a port light. Now the captain and first mate are pampered as well with this dual seat here with flip-up bolsters and armrests that fold down. Sea Chaser has also made it easy to manage all the equipment on board. The outriggers on this boat can be raised and lowered from below. You've got battery switches that are easy to access under the helm and near the transom. You've also got two boarding options. There's a step over transom on the starboard side, great place to pull in fish or get on a board after you've gone diving. But on the port side, you've also got a dive door that opens inward, gives you easy access from the dock. Now the Sea Chaser 30cc that we're testing today has a number of options on it. You'll want to check with your dealer on that list. What surprised us though was the performance and the fishability of the Sea Chaser 30cc. I'm Randy Vance.